Well, Jen just called and said we lost power at home. I see the power flickered up here at the intersection and one business is out, but the rest all seem to have power, which means I gotta go home. generator Friday night in our small town what are you all up to uh, we got no power we have not had power for the past three hours we had a small small leak in the basement with the water because it's been raining I shot a video earlier today as I was out driving around the snow when I got a phone call from Jen saying the power went out so here we are we got our generator out we're using it for the first time like first time needing it I have ran it before just to make sure everything was on the up and up Guys, you gotta be prepared. When stuff happens, we got food, we got water, we got a little bit of power. There are a lot of houses in our neighborhood that have no power at all. We're sitting in the dark. Uh, whether they got candles or flashlights or not, or whatnot, I really don't know, but we have enough power to run our sump pump to keep the water out of the basement. And we got our shop back down there, we can run our shop back. And it's times like these that you realize where you're short when it comes to being prepared for different things. Um, I know, I, I now know that I need to get a hookup on the side of the house for the electrical so that when I start my generator, I can just plug it right into the outside of my house. And it, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it bypasses your panel and then charges your house and allows you to run a few appliances. That's probably going to be the next thing on our list. Um, other than that, uh, we're not doing too bad. We got lots of batteries, we got lots of light, lots of candles, lots of food. Again, we're going on hour number four with no power. I'm not sure how the rest of the town's making out, but we're doing okay here. Uh, we'll go on in through the night and see how that works out. I'll keep you updated. Here's how we're getting by stay warm we have a mr. buddy heater right beside it carbon monoxide detector do not forget that do not run this in an enclosed space we do have an open window off to the side over there for fresh air flashlights obviously you can hear the shop back going down in the basement because we got just a tick of water down there we want to stay ahead of it air compressor air compressor it's not an air compressor not sure where that came from it's a generator you hear that running outside that's got power going down to our sub pump to keep that thing moving because if that was not on or we did not have that generator we'd probably be in a little bit of trouble because the water was rising quickly in the sump pump anyway the mr buddy heater is doing fantastic it has heated our entire downstairs we had to keep shutting it off uh, also it still makes me nervous running it in the house but again like i said gotta have a carbon monoxide detector with it just just to be safe and a fresh air source here we are six hours Still no hydro. Uh, did get word that the other side of town might have hydro. Problem is, uh, we're on this side of town. Well, it's uh, 2 a.m. and still no power. It's Mr. Buddy, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, update time is 3.30 a.m. Still no power. Keep him warm, though. I just went out and filled up the generator outside that was cold it is cold out but it's full it's going to keep running it's our first major use of this generator it is getting a workout so far it's been going on about nine hours it's doing okay all right well here's an update it's 7 a.m slept for maybe about 30 minutes still no hydro it's cold we're doing okay though. We got the heat going. 
Uh, Jen's running across town to get some breakfast. <sighs> I think we are now 13 hours, no hydro. Here's what it is. One ten p.m. About twenty hours without power. We didn't find it too bad. Like I said, we had uh, our generators. We had our food. We had our. We, had, we were prepared for this sort of thing. But this thing right here saved the day. A benchmark eleven thousand five hundred multiple ports. I'm going to do a video on this thing pretty soon because I took it out of the box a few months ago when we bought it. Started it. Made sure everything was good. Made sure all the fluids were topped up and didn't touch it. Last night we needed it. They kept the sump pump running which kept the basement from flooding. It uh, ran a refrigerator and it also ran a shop back just in case we did get any water. I'm not afraid to tell you we paid a thousand dollars for this a few months ago. It was a thousand dollars well spent. All kinds of goodies on there. But what I do want to mention is the amount of people on social media that were losing their mind. I mean, literally losing their mind. They didn't have any power. Somebody needed to be held accountable. And yes, our electricity bills are expensive. I mean, I had to mean expensive. So I understand that anger. But at the end of the day, you are responsible for you and your family. So if you are not prepared for these sort of things, you're reliant on somebody else to get you through the tough time. And the direction this world seems to be going nowadays, you might want to rely on yourself. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I uh, hope you all maybe learned something from that. I know we did. Found some spots that we needed to improve on. And that we will most definitely improve on it. But maybe you all learned something too. <laughs> we'll see you all in the next one. Later. By the way, we went through 10 gallons of gas in 20 hours. I think it goes too bad.